This is Sebastian Tomek with the Ancient DNA Paper Review. Today we will review the article The Genetic History of Ice Age Europe in Nature. They have looked on the genetic makeup of Stone Age Europe. They show a complex population history of pre-Neolithic Europe. From around 37,000 years ago, all the indi European individuals analyzed share ancestry with present-day Europeans. From about 37,000 years ago until the time of the Villa Brona genetic cluster about 14,000 years ago, all individuals seem to derive from a single ancestral population with no evidence of substantial genetic influx from elsewhere. The figure shows a map with the samples marked. The Vestonitze cluster is associated with the Gravettian archaeological culture 33 to 24,000 years ago. The Elmiron cluster is associated with the Magdalenian culture 17 to 12,000 years ago. And the Villa Bruna cluster is associated with the final Epigravettian culture 14 to 8,000 years ago. They find that individuals assigned to the Gravettian culture complex in Europe are associated with the Vestonitze cluster, but have no genetic connection with, with the Malta individual in Sabira, despite the fact that Venus figurines are associated with both these cultures. This suggests that if this similarity is not a coincidence, it reflects diffusions of ideas rather than movement of people. They find that the Goyet Q116 individual derives from a different deep branch of European founder populations than the Vestonitze cluster, which became predominant in many places in Europe between 34 and 26,000 years ago, including at Goyet. Goyet Q116 is chronologically associated with, with the Aurignacian culture complex. I will discuss it in a separate video. The spread of the Vestonitze cluster shows that the diffusion of the Gravettian culture complex was mediated at least in part by population movements. But the population represented by the Goyet Q116 did not disappear as its descendants became widespread again after 19,000 years ago in the Elmiron cluster. The Elmiron cluster is associated with the Magdalenian archaeological culture and may represent the post-glacier maximum expansion from the southwestern European refuge. With the beginning of the Villa Bruna cluster at least 14,000 years ago, all European individuals analyzed show an affinity to the Near East. This correlates in time with the Berlin Alderöd institution interstagial, the first significant warming period of the, the glacial maximum. Archaeologically, it correlates with the cultural transition within the Epigravettian in southern Europe and the Magdalenian to Asilian transition in western Europe. Thus, the appearance of the Villa Bruna cluster may reflect migration or population shifts within Europe at the end of the Ice Age. They detect the gene for blue eyes in individuals from the Villa Bruna cluster as well as in the Tsatserbian cluster from the Caucasus. The individuals from the Elmiron, Vestonitze and older samples does not have blue eyes. From where and when the Villa Bruna cluster came to dominate the European landscape, the paper leaves as an open question. As a side note, they find that the net, by natural selection, the Neanderthal ancestry has been reduced over time. That, my friend, is all for today. Thank you for listening. Till next time, I wish you all the best.